Be sure to check out my limited edition holiday merch available from November 20th to December 4th. Link in the description. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. I'd like to welcome you guys back to LA Noir. Moving on to some more vice cases. Uh, yeah, this one would normally, from what I remember, there were actually only three vice cases in the base game, and they added two DLC missions. So that's cool because I love vice. I think it's really cool. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Your platoon is what remains of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damn hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Asakawa Bridge. That guy's got no fear. He didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! You like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Why'd you get your ass kicked? <laughs> Fix your sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Let's get a ringside seat. That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! Step back, LAPD. Yeah, I remember this what's one. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. 
There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. Hold up, we gotta grab this newspaper first. You look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. Uh, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. And you can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. Those housing arrangements. We'll be checking out those later on. Anyway, uh, that's that. 8 of 13 newspapers. Oh. There's gloves. I don't think they're really anything that we need to worry about. Seems irrelevant. Yeah. All right, let's just open up his locker. I can't remember which one is his. Yo, fam jab, where's his locker? It's one of these ones here. There you go. There's a phone to number one. we can run by R&I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. I actually think that's about it. Yes, there's a phone. We'll have to call it in. You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law.
I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. It's what I do, fam. Where's the phone? There it is. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address for the following phone number. AL three four five. The address for the phone number is the Hotel El Mar, sixty two ninety four Leland Way, Hollywood. Thank you. All right. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. All right, let's head to that new address. You can drive. Hotel El Mar. All right, where to? You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. From the sounds of things, you'd think it'd be a lot nicer, but it really isn't. It's a bit of a dive, isn't it? Cheap rates and hot water. What more could you ever need? Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. I could save all year now. I think I remember this. Okay, so look for Orson Wells, Wells, Joan Caulfield, Shirley Temple, Tyrone Power, Danny Kay. Two peanuts are walking down the street. One was assaulted. Winston, oh, Winston Churchill. He's still in. I think that's the one we want. Clark Gable. Winston Churchill. Marilyn Monroe. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. All right, let's have a word. 207, yeah? Probably the one right in front of us, because it's got a golden knob. Door's unlocked. Looks like he's had a broad up here. Western Union. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Chocolates. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. I think this ticket's important. Ah, ah, don't be a bitch. Thank you. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. It's not like a movie's all that long. That's it for that. Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. I remember that. Parnell. Win your home of your dreams. Candy Edwards. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. Huh. Ah, oh, this is important. Lipstick. This angle if he has a real love interest. It's still warm. Well, damn. What the hell? He's 
He's just chilling. Look at him. <laughs> you drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Next we have Tony Marino and Harold. So Jordan. you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. Now, we thought that place was a bit sleazy. It actually wasn't that bad. But this one, au contraire. Hashtag sleazy. We need to know which room is Candy's. Just run in with great haste. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type. Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. It's good to know. This Candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Is, I, it was Candy a prostitute? I can't remember. Give it up, bitch. Sounds like we're missing He's all gone the fun. <laughs> oh, dear God. I know this guy. Come on, son. That's my hat. This isn't gonna end well for you, friend. I boxed in the Marines, and I'm boxing with your bitch ass. Oh, <laughs> put my hat back on. Oh, he's knocked out cold. Should slap him about. Out cold, but breathing. Give her a minute and take a look around. There should probably be something in one of his pockets. Switchblade. Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. You lost me a gun there, fam. I, I feel like a real man would just use his fists. Anyway. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Pretty good. I think that's it for fam jam. I'll check his hands just in case, but I just knocked him out. He wouldn't really have anything in his hands, would he? So I'm going to get up. Ticket. Single ticket. One way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Ship. Escania sails from New York. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. All right, I know this girl. I'm familiar with her. She's played... I can't remember. She's been, like, see, that's the thing. You know them. Some of them you can be like, yes, they were from this and that. But some of them you're like, I know them, but I can't picture where I know them from. Like, which film or TV show. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. That's not true. You just saw him. We have, like, that thing we found. You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. Sure I can. Well, let's see. Hold on. The coupon, right? Yeah, with her name. How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? Lady, you suck at lying. Like, you're really bad at it. They're bookmakers, aren't they? Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? You know the odds, right? Let's see. The bookmaker's odds or the payouts. Either or really would work. Albert wrote his winnings down on a notepad in the hotel room. We found the odds in his locker. Who has the betting slips? 
That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. But you're not. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. Do you want to press charges against Arcaro? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Good luck, Miss Edwards. I hope things work out for you. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say so. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. I say stake her out, see where she goes. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Okay, so we're gonna be tailing Candy. Now, instead of the standard issue method that they want you to do, um, there is actually a trophy called the Moose, and essentially what you have to do is tail her without going incognito or using the cover system. And since technically they put us in this incognito section right here, we should be fine. I don't think this one counts because you can't not get into it. So from now on, I just got to do stuff like this, like hide behind cover without getting into the cover. Go. So just stand behind walls because if she can't see you, we should be fine. Let her get ahead a bit because if she hears you coming. Go now. Just keep a reasonable pace. Stay back here. See, I'd like to move up, but she keeps turning. There you go. She's moving. And go. Just hide behind the car. I'm not sure exactly how far I can let her go. See, with this one, guys, we're going to be using trees. Go. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Moving. Go. Don't move, truck. Go. Go to the bushes. There, she's out of sight. Go, go, go. Haul it, haul it, haul it. I see her. Because I, I'm not sure if she takes a right, that's perfect. Because then we get a corner to, you know, deal with. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. I see her. Don't worry. I'm going to stand behind these cars. Stay across the street. They got the red now, so take advantage. Okay. Go. Swing wide. Swing wide like this. Use this big pillar. Okay, she's out of sight. We should be able to go right up to the, the next strip mall. Oh, you can look at a window. <laughs> All right, next step, we're gonna move. Go, go, go. She's getting too far. Use the tree. This car is too... 
I'm on the curb. That's the problem. Go behind the tree now. Go now. Go. Bushes. Bushes. Actually, no. House. House. Car. See, we can let her get pretty far away with this one. Okay, nice and easy. Don't worry, my man. I see her. Truck, truck. Dumpsters. Excellent. <laughs> I can't, is she going to the car? I can't remember. Just keep an eye on her. She's getting a bit far, though. Let's move up. Nope, she's not. Keep going, dumpster. Right here. Stand here. No way can she see me. That's BS. There you go. She's gone. Move. She stands out like a sore thumb, man. She's in a yellow summer dress with a red briefcase. Where the, hell's, where the hell is she going? Come on. Hurry up. Okay. I'm going to make my move in a second. Go now. Go, go, go. Got to cross the street. All right, I think this last bit's a bit tricky. Because, I mean, I see a pallet there, but I don't know if she'll be able to see me through them. Move up. But you want to, the trick is to stay far enough away. Okay, go now. Haul it, haul it. Run. Book, 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 book. There we go. We got her. Perfect. You'd think she'd drive. Bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. There we go. We got it. <laughs> nice. All right, let's bust in. A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much did she collect? $3,600. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door. Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. She did that in a lot of time. Like that, we went right in. We got to use our tracing skills. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. Okay, we all we have some. Let's get this. We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. There we go. We're done here. Let's get back to the car and head on out. You're behind the wheel. Do we know where we're going? Go, go. Get in the car, dude. Car 11K, 11 King. Further to your request, Bunko Fraud has three known bookmakers operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area. Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica, the Examiner Drugstore, and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee. KGPL clear. So we've already visited two of those. Or we're on our way to the second. We visited one. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. 
I know this guy. I'm familiar with him. And that voice. How could you not forget that voice? Where was it? Oh, right here. It's on the jukebox. Yellow cab. We need to get after her. Fast. God, this girl is trying to play us for fools, son. Oh, wait, there's... Wait. There's a phone. We gotta... Hold on. It's ringing. The phone was ringing and I put it... <laughs> Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company? Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Yes, sir. Send one round for the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. All right, so we're choosing cab 179. We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. Do you have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. There we go. That's probably what we needed to do. I'm faster. <laughs> you know the way. There we go. All right, go. let's go to Ray's bookmakers. Where are we going? 1662. We already got that call, though. Hammond backed himself to win. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. Question is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him, too? I'm telling you, man, this girl's playing a dangerous game. That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. It's kind of hard to be incognito in a convertible Cadillac like that. <laughs> Come on. With two very fly individuals in there. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She knows goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked Whoa! out the places in Whoa! Shit, LA. that dude ran a light. He He's actually punchy. did. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. We have the green. No way should that guy be running it. But you don't. Oh shit! We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, stay back. Is he turning left? What's he doing? There's no trap. The oh shit! So you got to be careful with these changing lights. They cheese you. Hammond is full of himself, being this sure he was gonna win. Oh, dude wants to get in this lane. Well, he can he can wait. Whoa! Sorry. I'm running a red. This is risky. Shit! I need to get through. Excuse me. Excuse me. God damn it, dude! I need to get through. There's so many cars. Stay a few cars out of line. He wants to get over. I'll get way over. guy's turning. Whoa! Fuck! Too close, Phelps. Way too close. Sorry. He's going away. We're good. We good? Are we good? Stop flashing. Yeah, we're good. All this other traffic really makes this quite tricky. Just stay in the turning lane. Follow these gentlemen. I'd say staying between a few cars is a good idea. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. Shit, stop sign. I'm running it. Shit, what's going on? This Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive. Sorry, sorry. They're right, you gotta obey street laws. You actually do. They like get noticeable if you drive like a Looney Tune. So just stay in the lanes. Stay, di keep your distance. I think she's stopping. Yes, we made it. Pull over. He's heading inside. 
Bus Depot. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. Where's she going? Just wait for her. Just wait. Isn't he the cop who won a medal? Shh. He's dull as shit. Oh shit. That escalated quickly. Run! Call an ambulance. Hammond got away. <coughs> He's, he said. Just try and sit still, Candy. Who shot you? Up? Was it Albert? Car. I, I, Damn they're it. On the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split? He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. I don't understand, though. Like, I don't know how all that happened in that time frame. But I, I get it. Poor Candy, she got wrecked. All right, there's a revolver. See how many shots were fired? 32 caliber. Just one. One shot fired. The other part of that movie ticket. Egyptian theater. Remember that? We found the other little corner piece in the uh, hotel room. So what now? The theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. So did it just seep from? I don't. It must have. Yeah, that's where. That's where it all went. All right. Well, time to head to the Egyptian theater, then, guys. You can drive. All right, where to? Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. This seems like a long shot, aren't they all? Recognize the car, guys? Car 11 King. Message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. Case Son of a bitch. Clear. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money, too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. It's that Italian guy. And that car, see that that car was at the uh, the parking lot. Same dude, uh, of the fight. We're going in the theater, yeah. Let's go. Why'd you kill her, Carlo? Your gripe was with me. She was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and she stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. And you were gonna let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dive. Everyone wanted me to take a short money. It's for the best deal. You were washed up, kid! You couldn't climb and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere! Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying. And it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much, but I had that. 
I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself. So did little boy. You did it and make a quick buck. And Candy did it and make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah. I've got the money. All I need to do is get rid of you. It's going to be a shame, kid, but that's business. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. What? You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. You know what I would do? Whoa, what the hell? He's got friends. I think I got one of them. Homeboy's down. I got him as he's leaving. Where's that coming from? It's above me. Go, go, go. Move, I've got you. Thank you. Stay down. I can't see him, he's on the, there he is. Where are you? You limey cocksucker. Damn it, go. That guy was downstairs. Find some cover. We have the high it's over Anakin. Are you serious? He's still breathing? I'm wide open here. Where'd he go? There you go. That was him, I wasn't sure. It's time to come out now, Hammond. Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Fuck you! That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps! Donnelly and the Homicide Squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and a... Uh, his girlfriend. No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. Okay. It's homicide's problem now. Good work, gentlemen. Mucho successo. Albert Hammond sails for England after inexplicably vanishing from police custody. Case closed, ladies and gentlemen. Five stars. That was a good one. I really, like I said, man, I love these vice cases. They're a lot of fun. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Those will be down below in the description, and I'll play at the end card of this video. If you're interested and you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my Spreadshirt shop in the description as well. Thank you guys so much again. Take it easy. Have a fantastic day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't these violent and hit you. 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that stylist style. Dan. Goddamn Billy Jack. We still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying. So we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players. Grab your respirators. Night invaders get light sabered. Mass on for the shooters. Move like trash. To bed intruder, got that Glock and got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill.
Yeah. It was never, ever a game.